Instagram stories and live video in general are arguably... Learn to speak English, Anna Rosa. Welcome to SMPN, Social Media Power News. If you want to stay up to date with anything social media related, then this is the page to stop at. Remember to like and subscribe, and I don't have anything else to say. A new study links social media use with depressive symptoms in young teens, in particular, young teenage girls. The study by a professor at University College London looked at 11,000 UK 14-year-olds born between 2000 and 2002. Using data from the UK Millennium Cohort study, it found that girls were both more likely to spend three hours or more per day using social media and more likely to have depressive symptoms. Though causality can't be proven, and earlier studies have suggested that teens who are prone to anxiety and depression may be more likely to spend more time alone on social media, the study suggests a link between time spent on apps like Snapchat and Instagram and the likelihood of depression. Do you suffer from anxiety? Do you have, do you know somebody who suffers from depression? If so, do you think these are also linked to Snapchat and Instagram? Any thoughts, any ideas, please just leave them down in the comments below. There is now a captioning app for Instagram stories for the hearing impaired called Cliptomatic. Newly sworn in Congresswoman Alejandria Ocasio-Cortez and Queer Eye star Caramo Brown are among the celebrities helping to promote the use of the app, making their stories more inclusive for the deaf and hard of hearing. Big shout out to the deaf and disability advocates who put me onto it, said Ocasio-Cortez in a weekend clip. She's been actively using Instagram to give followers an intimate look at her first days in Washington. Are you hard of hearing or do you know anybody who's affected by this? Then please leave a comment if they use Cliptomatic as well. Dating apps, we all love them, we've all used them, we've all had to delete them eventually when we just found the one. Oh. Anyway, they've gone from fighting the stigma of online matchmaking to celebrating casual sex and flirty singledom. The Washington Post takes note of new ad campaigns by OkCupid and good old fashioned reliable Tinder that celebrate the idea that, as one tagline puts it, single is a terrible thing to waste. But remember, don't be wasted, because that's where you make all those mistakes. Here's one more psychosocial dilemma that rolls off the tongue created by social media, deciding who your close friends on Instagram are. So many first world problems. Right, the app rolled out the close friends option for stories back in December, but now one tech writer finds this to be a fresh source of anxiety as various people designate her a close friend. So do you remember when you were in the playground and you used to have like your first best friend and your second best friend and if you were the third best friend, your heart broke? Well, this is like that, but like a million times worse. Thank you for watching Social Media Power News. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your feedback by liking and or commenting on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all things social media related. For more information about Goso's products and services, please visit our website at goso.io.